Good day guys, Granny Gamer here. How are you doing really well? I hope and I feel like my voice is a little bit loud. That's better. Um, Welcome to a brand new Desert Survival Alchemist, whatever it's called. Yeah, Alchemist Desert Survival or The Alchemist Desert Survival. Now I saw Mr. Big Cheesecake play this and as usual, my bank balance has taken a hit. So thank you for that, hun. Appreciate it. But let's get into this. This looks really good. It does incorporate some machines. It incorporates um, a, a a temperature thing. And it looks interesting. Anyway, it's a marketplace map. And I think it was 800 and something coins. So it was a little bit more expensive than what I normally do. But I just think it was worth it. It looks really interesting. So here we are. Now we get given some equipment, a sword, and the book. Aha! Uh -huh. What does the book say? Right, welcome survivor. Things have changed since the last time. Now I didn't do the last one, so I have no idea what he's talking about. So if you, any hints and tips, put them in the down below. I was pointing downwards. You can't see that, but I was doing it. This map, everywhere you go, temperatures will affect you, right? So you fall as you go up and they rise as you go down. You need to be in within 30 blocks from this bloke next to me. And my action bar displays three different things. The air temperature, um, a body temperature and temperature of resistance okay so that's gonna be interesting and that will that will slide to the left right depending on my temperature when you're cold it slides left when you're hot it goes right if it reaches extremes you die as long as you keep it in the green or yellow you'll be okay we have an in-game wiki which is really interesting. The first task is enter the wiki to get your first guidebook and set your temperature preferences. Right, so we do that by walking through the sky. Hello. See, quite easy. And this is our first guidebook. Right, in this map you start with nothing but a sword. Go back to base and kill as many mobs as possible. Their drops will help you start thriving. Right. Kill skeletons and use the alchemy table to turn the arrows into sticks. You deconstruct them, which is a really good idea. You kill the spiders you use assume to create cobwebs in the alchemy table. Now, use the cobwebs to build sieves and, star and, and sieve sand to get dead bushes. Place and break the dead bushes to turn into sticks. Use the sticks to create wooden planks. And then base planks to create a crafting table. Right, so, when we have a crafting table, this is what the first episode is all about, getting a crafting table. You've got to do so much to get a crafting table. But when you have the crafting table, you mix it with this book and you get book two. But first of all, temperatures. View them in Fahrenheit, no, view them in Celsius. Yes, thank you. And I will show you what I mean. So this is the wiki. So, say I wanted to not do that. Say I wanted to find out how to make a Bruin stand. You go to B. And this shows you everything you need to do. So there's batteries, recipes. I don't even know this was a battery cell. Bees, birch, blaze, ooh, block breaker. That's interesting. Block of charcoal, bone extractor. Ooh. bone sieve okay bone meal sieve oh, oh actually do I want oh, actually I just want to have a look <laughs> I just want to have a look wow no this is too far advanced too far advanced right but yeah that's the idea that's what you get to do um, this is all your custom recipes so this is all like what you can get in the furnace um copper ingots copper ingots gold iron red sand oh god refined iron but well, there you go we didn't know that 
uh, rubber, okay, rubber resin, uh, terracotta, see, there's lots and lots and lots of different things that we can do, let's go back, but we will get to explore all that, and in here is spoilers, which I've not gone in, so I'm just going to keep that as is, can I not, oh, must be those invisible blocks there, right, so let's go back, we do get a lightning glitch every time we come back. Well, that's fine. So let's explore the outside. It is just literally sand. That's all it is. And I think what I want to do is I can't really do much, but I should be able to punch my way this way. Because I saw the way Mr. Big Cheek set up his sieves, and I want to do something similar. But it will mean punching these out. Right, thank you. Now, I'm going to need sand. So, I'm going to go on the top of this hill, and... So I don't want to ruin my surroundings, you know. Just grab some while I wait for it to start getting dark. Because I can't do nothing until I get the monsters. Now, bearing in mind, you do get a little bit of um, protection and a, and a good sword. I mean, the sword's got looting too on it, you know. So I'm going to get some drops. I did notice with Mr. A Big Cheesecake that he got some, you know didn't take him too long to do this but as usual guys for me this is a bit of a grindy map I mean I don't mind a grindy map to be fair it is um it, I, I quite enjoy it I could just sit back and just mindlessly work on it. it it stops my brain from overthinking which you know some days is a real bonus but yeah I'm just gonna Oh, starting to get a little bit dark. Let's see if I can much I can do this one before the sun goes down. Now, bear in mind that you're not going to be able to get any sort of boxes, you know, your storage in this for the beginning. So do be careful what you pick up. Right, okay, see if I can get another one. This will be better once we get some sticks, because then I can turn the sticks into the planks. Ooh, it's getting dark. Can I do it before the sun goes completely down? What do you reckon? I reckon I will. Yeah, easy. Ha! I am a pro at getting sand. Right, so that's, um, put that there, that there, that there, and that there. I want to see what drops I get. Now, as you can see, the temperature's telling me that I'm in the green still. So I'm doing okay for that. If I go too far away from here, then it will go into, oh, that's our first spider, that's our first thing. Yeah, it will go colder, much, oh, look at all them. Thank you very much, I'll grab you. But it's spiders we want, and these. Because that's, that's the only food you're going to get. I think, anyway. Right, okay, I did see some skeletons, so I need their... Right, so I've got four. So that's four sticks I can get now. I don't need to... Oh, no, I definitely don't want to be bothered with you. Right, I see a spider up there. You can kill the creepers quite easy, actually. I was quite concerned about this, but I saw Mr. Cheese do it. Yeah, I did. I've watched both his videos. He's got two out by now, by the way. Thank you. Come here, Mr. Spider Spider. Thank you, that's three bits of string. 
I need nine to make... Oh, yeah, you're due. Come here. I'm not saving anything right now. Right, I've got to start eating some of this now. I mean, it is the worst food in game. Oh, look at that. I want your thing. Let me have that. <gasps> Thank you. It's not very good, but it'll give me easier to get the sand. Thank you. Well, I don't want to look at you. What else are we going to get? Right, spider and some more skeletons. It's the spiders I'm really quite interested in. That's seven. Ten. Right, so I can make one sieve. Because it takes nine string to make... Oh, darn it. Let's go and get this one. It's going to go... Oh, that was so lucky. I really thought it was going to blow then. Right, okay. Can this heart come up, please? Thank you. Oh, yes. Swinekins. Right, how many bows have I got? Can I make a full one that's undamaged? Not quite. Right, okay. I've got a zombie over there. Let's go and grab him. We're halfway, approximately halfway through the night. Oh, we're cold. We're cold. Once that um, thingy bobby bar gets up, it means we're cold. So we've got to come back over here. Oh. We're going to start getting cold in a minute. Let's go in here for a sec. Oh, right, okay. We'll have food, we'll have a bit of a warm up. And we'll have a look quickly at this. So, nothing in your hand and click on it. So, I should be able to make one. That's good. It's not the great, but it is good. And if I put one of them in there, I can deconstruct that. Like that. And if I get three of these, one, two, three, I get wood. So that's how you start getting all the things that you need. So, that is good. Am I warm yet? Nearly. I have another bit of this. Right, if we stick around here, we can get back. Oh, there's a witch. Ugh. Don't really want a witch, but I know that it's going to be handy having a witch. So. Oh, that was so lucky. So lucky. Right, okay. So let's grab. Oh, are they all? all right, let's go back over here, see if I can get them to spawn around my base a little bit. Keeping an eye on the temperature, because it's back in the blue, look. Right, go and grab you. Can't see any more spiders. No, I've got to go because it's a spoon again. Once that spoon comes up, it means that um, you're going to get like a dark screen. And if you get the dark screen, they can just come along and absolutely pummel you. It's not even funny. Right, okay. Time to go. Whew. It's, it's very much hit and run at the moment. Very, very much hit and run at the moment. Right, can I... Actually, no, let's just do another one here. Just get really warm. Right, okay. 
So if I put it there. Yeah, if I put that there, I can't do any half slabs, can I, at the minute? I need to... Take this down. This is a lot easier when you have a pickaxe, believe me. Right, okay. So if I go like this, see if I can hit it up there. Yes! Ha! Huh. That's not too bad, actually. I'll take it. And that'll fall down there and it will change in a minute. Oh, I've got another witch. There you go. Look, you don't have a very good chance of it changing into um, the things that you need. Right. Why did I hear that witch? Where are you? I want that witch. Okay. These are all gonna die in a minute anyway, so. Also, they do have a chance of dropping iron. So that's quite cool. Right, let's go down, grab these, then I'll go over and grab them. Yeah, things do tend to despawn on you as well. Like 21 bits of flesh isn't good. I don't know if it's worth doing a mob farm. I'm not sure. If it is, I'll go underneath ground and do it, I think. Right, so now it is just going to be sorting out. I don't know that I can make a... Nothing there? Cool, okay. Don't know that I can make a pickaxe, but hey ho. So now it's literally just a matter of waiting for this to get some sticks. I've got nine here. So if I... do that no more bows so I can't do anything there oh look yes I've got a dried bush so that's good so that gives me two Three. No. Don't think I'm going to have enough. That's another two. Oh, I might have enough, actually. I do. Well, hey. Right, okay. So now I can go one, two, three. One, two, three. And I can do that and do that. Yay! Right, can I place you down here? I can't, can I? Because there's no actual sand. Oh, that didn't get me anything. Right. All good. All good. So now we need to... 
place it in and get the next book. So, that there, and then that there, guidebook two, and the crafting table is back out again, and I'm going to pop that there. So let's have a look at this guidebook too. You didn't give me anything this time. I'll try that. Right, so I've got a craft a wooden pickaxe. That's going to help. More sand until you have nine iron nuggets. Craft an iron ingot. Use the ingot together with the flint obtainable from ours to craft a flint and steel. Right, oh, that didn't give me anything that time. Okay, flint and steel. Um, then do the wooden pickaxe. Mine your way to the cave under your base coordinate 0, 054 minus 40. Mine 10 iron ores using mini TNTs. Okay. Place a mini TNT adjacent to the ore when it explodes, it breaks all blocks adjacent to it. Okay. Craft cut, cut sandstone slabs and place them on top of the lava lake found down there. Okay. In the same cave, iron ores. Drop the iron ores on top of the bottom cut sandstone slabs to melt them. Okay. When you have a cauldron. Oh, we've got to get a cauldron and a bucket. And then we get guidebook three. Wowzers. That's quite a lot, isn't it? That is kind of a lot. So, did I just hear moaning? I mean, seriously? Oh, Cocos, okay. Oh, no. So that was cocos, cocoa beans, which I can't really do anything with, I don't think, or fire stars. I can make some bone meal, which is going to be good. I do need some more string. And we've got the feathers, so actually not too bad. I can definitely hear a... Um, Zombie, is there one sort of like standing under something? No, but we do have a wandering trader. Let's go over and have a look at him. Not that we can do anything with him at the moment, but we can get some little bit of leather from the llamas if nothing else. Uh -huh. See, that would have been nice. That would have been nice. Melon seeds would have definitely been nice, but. <coughs> Nothing, really. Oh, okay. Well, that was a shame. Really hoping that one of these villagers drops some carrots or potatoes as well. That would be very handy. Right, what did you get? Nothing. Now I hear a skeleton. There must be... Yeah, he did say that there was a cave underneath there, so that definitely it could well be the cave that I'm hearing them in, you know? So we'll go and explore that. I do want to sort of like open this out just a tad more. Okay, not getting anything at the moment, are we? But we did get guidebook two, so you know it, they did say that it was oh good we got another one. Well, I will show you actually if we go in here. Let me read the sieve book. Yeah, you can automate it. If you get like a dropper, that will drop them in. And then you can collect all the bits here. So that will automate my sieve. Um, that can collect them here. I just need to drop them from above. The block under the cobweb must be air. Yeah. And the blocks that you can use are the sand, dirt, gravel, cobblestone and stone. Okay, so that's that. Now, if I go back to this and read this it says what you can get from it so sand you get sand dead bush iron nuggets cocoa beans but look at the percentages 64 percent you're going to get sand back 24 percent for the dead bush 
8% iron nuggets and 4% cocoa beans. So the percentages are quite high for failure. Even with the gravel, it only goes down to 50, 57%. And then you go right the way down to 28% flint, you know, and it goes down and down and down. I mean, you're going to get more chance of getting iron nuggets from sand than you are gravel, which is a bit weird. Well, then you get to cobblestone, you know, you enter in for the bone mills and the iron nuggets still say at a relatively low. But if you look at stone, okay, you get a 17% chance of copper, 15 gravel, but 10% iron. So, you know, and then you get your bones as well. I think you get a slime ball and you get gold. But 10% is actually quite, quite good. But with dirt, it goes down to 2%. So it's the, obviously at the moment, it is the iron that we are going to be looking for. The dirt, you also get brown and red mushrooms, which is quite good. And a rubber tree sapling. Ooh. Oh, and seeds. That would be very handy, wouldn't it? So, yes, that is exactly what we really need to do. Come back. Hello. Right, now, I see how far. Right, so the sun's going down again on my second night. So, I think what I'm going to do is not, I can't really do much right now apart from stand here and sieve this so i'm going to stand here sieve this i might actually take this outside i can it might be actually easier because then i can if i have it say here along here because i do want i want at least eight or nine of them so I can sort of like get the chances. Having one is not good. And I've got a sword so I can easily pick it up, I'm sure. No. That was a fail. <laughs> and on that note, I think I'll leave that for today. Because <laughs> I'm going to have to be doing a lot more killing. But... The possibilities are quite endless on this one, so I'm really going to be looking forward to it. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this episode, please hit the thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe for more craziness. I like my modded Minecraft. Guys, always try to be nice. Never fail to be kind, and I will catch you soon. Bye.